Hello, daddy folks. It is Diecast Buffet here again. Welcome back to NASCAR 06. It is time for, yep, time for Daytona. Uh, we're going to be heading out to the Daytona 250, the final uh, restrictor plate race of the Bush Series in the 2000s. It's 2009, so it's the final one of the decade. And look at the Roush Couture statistics, man. Holy cow. Ten wins. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. Look at the top tens all three of us have, man. And not including all the pole awards we've won. It's time for NASCAR Bush Racing under the stars on a hot summer night in Daytona Beach, Florida at the World Center of Racing, the Daytona International Speedway. Tonight, it's the Winn-Dixie 250, presented by PepsiCo. A win on Daytona's high banks could prove to be a stepping stone for these Bush Series drivers. Who will solve the super speedway mystery? Finding the correct lane, hanging onto the draft, making deals, then breaking ranks. The answer is 250 miles and maybe one bumper away. Alrighty, folks, here we go. We qualify on the pole here at Daytona, the final plate race of the decade for the Bush Series, and here we go. We got Dale Earnhardt Jr. He actually changed his paint scheme, which is really weird. Like, sometimes they don't ever change your paint scheme, but no, he's actually running the Oreo car, so that's freaking awesome. And here we go from Daytona. Now, the car is really fast. Obviously, we set on the pole, but I don't want to get too far out ahead that we get freight train three wide. So, whoa, don't hit that apron. I want to get with Edwards and let him push. Let's see if we can get Edwards to get behind us and push. I'm trying to slow up this line here. There we go. If we want to get up the full song, then we can we can get back up to these cars. But guess what? You got them Chance 2 Motorsports cats. You got Dale Jr., you got Martin Trux Jr., and then how about this? Kyle Busch. He's back in the Bush series. So now we gotta deal with him. I need Kenseth to work with me. There we go. Yes, let's get a three-car tandem going, baby. Let's go. Kenseth. Let's go, man. Let's go. Gotta get up the full song. Edwards is behind me. He's giving us a push. Car's tight in the corner. Fudge, man. We're just holding up traffic. Gotta get faster. Ooh, tight off the corner there. Oh, crap. We lost Edwards. Dang it. Come on. I need a push from behind, man. Now we're... Back up the full song. This car is tight in the corner, bro. I know when we get, like, bad tire wear, we're going to have to lift each corner because if not, we're going to go up the racetrack and wreck ourselves. You know, you got to check yourself or you wreck yourself. <laughs> you know, you know. All right. Uh, Labani, get to the bottom, please, so I can push you to the front because they're starting to drive away from the pack. So I need Labani to run the bottom here. I did have to lift entering that corner to run the bottom lane. And this is back when Daytona was a handling track. This is the, the pavement. That the, so this is the game's based on 2005. The pavement was, uh, I believe, paid in the late 70s. So this is a very worn out uh, racing surface. So naturally, these Gen 4 cars would slip and slide around a gigantic racetrack like this. All right. We're going to work with Bobby Labonte. Ken's is still in this front pack, so at least we have someone we can draft with. But i got to push Labonte up there. Edwards is already pinning, which I like that. Get off sequence. You know, if, if, if you're going to try to win this race, you're going to have to do something different than the leaders. We are gaining on the front pack, though. So that's good news. Labonte's holding a pretty steady wheel. We're staying right behind him. That's what we need to do. I, want, I think you run faster, though, without share drafting. So we're going to try that, um, just normal drafting, and see how this goes. Because when you share draft, I think it slows you down just a little bit so you don't run over them. But I actually want to push the car, right? That's what I want to do. I actually want to bump draft. And so Kyle Busch out to a commanding lead. You got Earnhardt, Truex, and now Kenseth. So you have two Chance Motorsports or Chance Two Motorsports cars. You have one Roush Couture. I think Tony Stewart's looking behind us. And then you have that lone Hendrick car. Uh, his teammate Vickers is still in the top ten. And now we're gonna dodge all these cars that are coming off the pavement. This is gonna be interesting. If they glitch out and they slip up just once, big wreck. 
And you can see how loose we got off the corner there. So we're going to have to take four tires. We cannot afford to take two as we're going to scrape the wall. Everybody's coming in. This is the money stop of the race. Oh, boy. Tony Stewart looking inside. All right. We're going to have to be very aggressive on pit road. We're going to have to take four. We're not going to be able to make it. So we're going to get really aggressive here. And then we're going to get ahead of Kyle Busch and beat him to his own game. And we didn't get a speeding penalty. That was perfect. Thank you, Lord. All right. So we're the first car out of that group on pit road. We're going to be able to... If we have a bad pit stop, we might be able to hold up the five car. Now, if everyone takes two tires, we're screwed. I don't think we could take two tires there. The way this car was sliding, the car does not have enough mechanical grip built into it. Uh, so we should have made that in part of our, you know, our Daytona setup. Put that tire wear in there so that way we can be able to get through it, but... It is what it is. Oh, of course they screw up the pit stop. Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they have a clean pit stop? Let's have a 22 second pit stop. Why wouldn't we? That is so perfect. They were doing so good. Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to mow the yard to get around Earnhardt there. Oh boy. At least we're still in the top 10 opportunity here. Oh no, I didn't see Edwards there. Oh my gosh, I did not see Edwards there. I thought I was clear, and a massive wreck ensues. I am an idiot. I literally went up the racetrack, and I didn't even think there was a car there. Wow, that was stupid. That was so stupid. I just Kevin LePage the whole field, because everyone's just going to stack up here slowly. Oh, my gosh. I, I didn't even think of a car would be there. I thought they were all gone. Now, that's definitely going to hurt us because we're going to be slow getting up through the gears. And then we have this massive amount of damage. It, we'll be lucky to get a top 10, I think. Wow. That was extremely stupid. 1,000% my fault. And now, I don't know who's going to win this race. We're going to get up to speed, but the problem is we're going to die off in the middle of turn 2. Like, we, we get a good jump here, and then they just take off. So, like right now, there we go. As soon as we get to fourth gear, it's over. They're gone. All I can do is just hope um, Kenseth will follow me. Earnhardt looking at the bottom there. Edwards has got a lot of damage. Hopefully, we don't have another yellow. I need a car to get around me so I can work with them. I'm hoping Kenseth will. Go, Kenzif. I'm going to try to cut him a break. Car's a little bit loose, that tire sliding. All right. Let's see if we can try to catch up to the 17 car here. I mean, you only get one lap to do it. You're not going to be able to win the race, but you never know how much track position you can really make up. I need him to run the bottom. Yeah, we're just losing time up here. Down below the 81 car, tight off the corner. Holy cow, that was bad. That could have been really, really bad. So, I mean, you gain so much time when you bump draft. But I need Kenseth to go to the bottom. I should have had that command put into the, the, the thing. There's a, um, there's a command where you could tell your teammate to, like, move to the inside or something. I think there's a command for that, so... That will be something to look forward to. Trying to get to the bottom here. Nope, that's a legal pass. Yeah, can't go below the yellow line. Seventh place, disappointing run for us. Truix is going to win the Summer Daytona race. That's pretty cool. We got ousted by a bunch of bow ties there, but if I I, I didn't even think Edwards was going to be there. I didn't think no cars were there. I was going to go to the outside because. To, to be honest with you, I was trying to get uh, around the cars on the apron. Because they were so slow, and we didn't—we had a horrible pit stop just trying to salvage what I could. It didn't even cross my mind that there was going to be cars on the outside there. Anyways, we still got—we um, still got a top ten. Edwards just outside that top ten, and he looked at the field here. There was a, there was some big wrecks there. That was a big big event, and I think Boyer got the worst of it. Or actually, no, he was still running. I think he flipped. <laughs> I don't know where he finished. Probably a top 10. Yep. Top 10. <laughs> that 
That was crazy, yo. That was crazy. So Truex gets the win. We get we salvage a top ten run, and uh, on uh, I think we're going to Chicago Land. So on to that event. Probably gonna have some rivals after that one. So uh, what can you do, right? What can you do? Alrighty, folks. Let's see what's crack a lacking here. Nice. So Roush wants to give us a raise. That would be great uh, for the team. So yeah, the next event's gonna be at Chicago Land Speedway. It it doesn't say that, but it is. Um, standings. So we actually grew our points lead over Carl Edwards. And it, we literally, we had a bunch of chaos there. We got the top 10. J.J. Yaley and Bobby Labonte unable to really gain anything. And, I mean, it's, it's our championship to lose at this point. Greg Biffle still the points lead. Your update on the chase of the cup. Uh, Elliot Sadler uh, just outside the top 10. Waltrip made the chase in 2008. So, uh, Kenziff, he looks pretty good to make the show, which would put one, two, three... Four. All four of the Roush Coutures because Mark Martin's retired. How is your Wheeling Modifieds uh, going? Uh, yeah, Everham is still, like, they run, like, two races the entire year. <laughs> it, it, it's weird. It, it, I, I like seeing the anomalies in these games, whether that's a glitch or not. Uh, Craven, the Roush truck driver, doing pretty good. So, uh, on to the next one. 22,000 points, or really 23,000 points we need for our next prestige upgrade. And, um... Yeah, that's all for now, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Of course, for all your die-cast shopping needs, feel free to check out that promo code down below. You don't have to. Next three races, Chicagoland, New Hampshire, and UPS Raceway, which is a one-off event. Could be fun. Who knows? Have a great one, everybody. Die-cast buffet. Signing off.